In the town of Black Hollow, where the living rarely ventured, the dead roamed and seen, bound not by time but by belief. For centuries, the spirits that haunted its crumbling streets had been united by one common creed the truth that their existence was a curse, a punishment for their unfinished lives. But in the shadows of eternity, something shifted. Among the ghostly ranks, new voices rose, whispering of ancient gods long forgotten, of salvation that could free them from their eternal suffering. One spirit, a former priest in life, claimed to have communed with these deities, promising deliverance through devotion. His followers became known as the Pale Covenant. They gathered in the ruins of an old church, performing rituals and prayers, hoping for release from the spectral torment that bound them to Black Hollow. But not all the ghosts believed in the Pale Covenant's promises. Another faction emerged, led by a woman known as the Lady of Ashes, who had once been a witch burned for her sorcery. She rejected the idea of gods, preaching that only through harnessing the power of their own suffering could they transcend. Her followers, the Ashen Circle, performed dark rites, drawing power from their agony, convinced that pain was the only key to freedom. As the two factions grew in number, the once silent streets of Black Hollow became a battleground. The air thickened with the eerie hum of discordant chants and the echo of phantom screams. Ghosts tore at each other, their ethereal forms twisting and writhing in the night as they fought for supremacy. The Pale Covenant called upon divine light, their ghostly forms glowing in pale luminescence, while the ashen circle wreathed themselves in shadow, their figures blackened and twisted by the rituals they performed. Blood, or what passed for it in the afterlife, began to flow through the rift between them. Streets cracked under the weight of spectral wars, and the veil between the world of the living and the dead weakened. In Black Hollow, time itself seemed to bend, drawing in energies from beyond as the spirits fought. The living could feel the shift, the temperature dropping, the flickering of lights, the whispers in the wind. But as the conflict raged, another force began to stir. Deep beneath the town, in the forgotten catacombs, a third presence made itself known. A spirit older than any of the factions, one who had been there long before the wars began, slumbered in the cold earth. It had no name, no shape that could be easily understood by those who walked in the shadow of death. But it watched, waiting for its moment. Rumors spread among the restless dead of a coming reckoning, a prophecy shared only in half-remembered dreams. Some said the ancient spirit was the true god of the dead, Others believed it was the embodiment of the curse that bound them all. And as the battles between the Pale Covenant and the Ashen Circle grew more desperate, the presence in the catacombs began to awaken, its influence spreading through the bones of the town like a poison. One cold night, a ghost from the Pale Covenant and another from the Ashen Circle met by chance in the ruins of Black Hollow's graveyard. Both had grown weary of the endless fighting, their forms battered and torn from the conflicts. In the dead of night, they spoke, their voices barely audible over the wailing winds. Do you ever wonder if any of it matters? Asked the ghost of the ashen circle, her once fierce visage softened by the scars of countless battles. The ghost of the pale covenant didn't answer at first. He stared out over the broken tombstones, his form flickering like a candle in the wind. I wonder if we're all just echoes, he finally said fighting for gods and powers that might not even exist anymore. As they stood in silence, a rumble came from beneath them, a low, pulsing throb that neither had ever felt before. The ground began to shake, the stones beneath their feet vibrating with a rhythm that felt ancient, primordial. They exchanged a glance, their spectral faces filled with a sudden, shared terror. The presence beneath Black Hollow was no longer asleep. Far beneath the ground, in the dark where no light reached, something stirred, something old, something hungry. And as it began to rise, the ghosts of Black Hollow, locked in their battle of beliefs, remained unaware that their true enemy was coming. But whatever it was, it didn't care for their gods or their rituals. It sought only to consume. The war was not over but something far worse was about to begin. And in the heart of Black Hollow, the living felt the chill of death drawing closer with every breath. The rumble beneath Black Hollow grew stronger, shaking the town to its core. The spectral war between the Pale Covenant and the Ashen Circle continued, 
oblivious to the rising terror beneath their feet. The spirits were too consumed by their own hatred, too blinded by their beliefs, to notice the creeping dread. But something had changed. The night grew unnaturally quiet. The winds that once carried the wails of the dead stilled, and the ever-present fog that clung to the town began to retreat, revealing the shattered ruins in stark, moonlit clarity. The streets of Black Hollow, once thick with ghostly forms locked in battle, now lay eerily deserted. The spirits both of the Covenant and the Circle felt it, a chill deeper than any cold they had known, a darkness that seemed to swallow their very existence. The two ghosts in the graveyard, one from the Pale Covenant and the other from the Ashen Circle felt it too. They stood frozen in place, the tremors beneath their feet growing stronger, the ground splitting in jagged lines, like a wound opening in the earth. Do you feel that? The ghost of the Ashen Circle whispered, her voice barely audible. The other ghost nodded, his form flickering erratically. Something is wrong. Before either could speak again, the ground beneath them erupted. A chasm yawned open, and from its depths poured a thick, black fog, darker than the night, carrying with it an overwhelming sense of dread. It wasn't just the presence of death that was something older, more primal, a force that felt like it had no beginning and no end. Out of the darkness came a low, guttural sound, a voice, but not in any language the ghosts had ever heard. It reverberated through the air, a vibration that shook their very essence. And then they saw it a shape, rising from the abyss. It was neither ghost nor living, but something caught between. Its form was a mass of shadow and bone, shifting and writhing, constantly changing. But always there was the sense of hunger, a hunger that could not be sated. The ghosts recoiled in terror, their forms shrinking away as the creature rose higher, its presence filling the graveyard. It turned its eyeless gaze upon them, and though it had no mouth, they could feel its smile a cold, knowing smile that pierced through their very being. What? What is it? The ghost of the Pale Covenant stammered. The Ashen Circle ghost shook her head, her eyes wide with fear. It's the end. It's everything we feared. The creature let out a deep, echoing sound, like the tolling of a great bell, and as it did, the spirits of Black Hollow began to feel something they hadn't felt in centuries pain. Their forms began to unravel, as if the very essence of their being was being drawn toward the creature. It was pulling them in, absorbing them, feeding on them. The ghosts tried to flee, but there was nowhere to run. The entire town seemed to buckle under the force of the entity's presence. One by one, they were pulled into the darkness, their screams lost to the void as they were consumed. In the ruins of Black Hollow, only a few remained those who had sensed the danger too late, or who had chosen to stand and fight against the impossible. Among them were the two ghosts from the graveyard. They watched in horror as their fellow spirits were devoured, their forms dissolving into the blackness. The pale covenant ghost turned to the other. We need to stop this, he said, though his voice trembled. This thing will consume us all. But how? The ashen circle ghost asked, her face pale with fear. We are already dead. What can we do? As the creature began to move, its massive form spreading across the town like a wave of night, a sudden thought struck the pale covenant ghost. The catacombs, he said. There was a legend, an old one, older than even our beliefs. The ashen circle ghost narrowed her eyes. What legend? He hesitated, his form flickering in and out. There is something buried deep in the catacombs, a relic, a shard of something ancient. They said it could bind the dead, control them. Maybe? Maybe it can stop this. The ground shook again, more violently this time, and the creature let out another haunting sound, closer now, as if it could sense their desperation. We don't have a choice, the ashen circle ghost said, her voice hardening with resolve. If there's a chance, we have to take it. The two ghosts, once enemies bound by their opposing beliefs, turned and fled toward the entrance of the catacombs. As they descended into the darkness below Black Hollow, the ground above cracked and crumbled, the ancient creature slowly engulfing everything in its path. But the catacombs held secrets even the oldest spirits feared. As they reached the lowest chamber, the air grew thick with an oppressive force, a weight that pressed down on them, even in death. In the center of the room, buried beneath layers of dust and decay, lay the relic the shard. It pulsed faintly, a dim light that seemed to whisper to them. 
This is it, the pale covenant ghost said, his voice barely above a whisper. But as they reached for it, a third figure emerged from the shadows, a ghost neither from the pale covenant nor the ashen circle. Its form was ancient, twisted, and its eyes burned with a malevolent light. You're too late, it said, its voice a hollow rasp. The end has already begun. Before they could react, the ground above them shattered and the creature's darkness poured into the catacombs. The relic glowed brighter, pulsing with power, but would it be enough? The ancient ghost laughed, a sound that echoed through the chamber. There's no stopping what's coming. And as the darkness swallowed the catacombs, the two ghosts made their choice to fight or to surrender, knowing that whatever they did, the fate of all the dead hung in the balance. But the true nature of the relic, and the ancient ghost that guarded it, was far more dangerous than they realized. Something even worse was waking. The relic's faint pulse quickened, its light growing brighter as the darkness swarmed into the catacombs. The two ghosts, torn between fear and hope, hesitated only for a moment before the pale covenant ghost reached out and grasped the shard. The moment his hand touched it, a surge of energy shot through him, coursing through his spectral form like lightning. The ashen circle ghost watched, her eyes wide, as the relic's light began to spread, pushing back the creeping darkness. For a fleeting second, it seemed as though the shard might be powerful enough to stop the ancient creature. But as the relic's glow intensified, so did the presence of the twisted, ancient ghost that had emerged from the shadows. You don't understand what you're doing, the ancient ghost rasped, its voice echoing like a death knell. That relic doesn't belong to you. It never did. The pale covenant ghost gritted his teeth, his form flickering wildly as he struggled to control the power. It's the only way. If we don't stop this thing, everything will be destroyed everyone. Everything will be devoured. The ancient ghost's face twisted into a cruel smile. The relic was never meant to stop it. It was meant to release it. A deep, ominous rumble shook the ground beneath them. And suddenly, the relic's light began to change. The warm glow that had seemed to repel the darkness flickered, turning a sickly, greenish hue. The pale covenant ghost's grip faltered, his form distorting as the energy from the relic became too much for him to bear. The ashen circle ghost reached out, trying to pull him away from the shard, but it was too late. The relic's power had taken hold, and its true purpose was revealed. The ancient ghost stepped forward, its eyes gleaming with malicious satisfaction. The shard wasn't meant to save you. It was meant to unlock the prison that binds the real darkness. You've just given it what it needed. Before their eyes, the relic shattered into a thousand pieces, and from the center of the explosion came a force unlike anything they had ever felt. A wave of raw, primal energy rippled outward, tearing through the catacombs, ripping apart the fabric of their world. The darkness, the creature that had been rising from beneath Black Hollow, paused for a moment, as if recognizing the shift in power. And then, from the broken relic, something else began to emerge. A shape formed from the void, not a ghost, but something far older, something born before life and death had meaning. It was the true master of the shadows, the force that had been buried deep within the earth for millennia, locked away by those who had once worshipped it as a god. The relic had been the key, and the pale covenant ghost, in his desperation, had unlocked it. The ancient ghost stepped back, its smile fading as the entity took shape. This, this wasn't supposed to happen, it whispered, its voice filled with sudden fear. The ashen circle ghost stared in horror as the thing rose from the shards of the relic, its form ever shifting, a mass of darkness and light intertwined. It was beyond comprehension, beyond fear itself. Its very presence warped the air around it, bending time, bending reality. You've doomed us all, the ancient ghost croaked, its once confident tone reduced to a trembling rasp. It cannot be stopped. The pale covenant ghost, his form now unstable and flickering like a dying flame, turned to the ashen circle ghost, his eyes filled with regret. I didn't know, he whispered. I thought we could. But his words were cut off as the entity reached out, its shadowy tendrils wrapping around him. There was no scream, no sound as his form disintegrated, swallowed whole by the thing he had unknowingly unleashed. The ashen circle ghost tried to flee, but the walls of the catacombs collapsed around her, trapping her in the darkness. 
She watched helplessly as the entity continued to grow, its form expanding, consuming everything in its path. The ancient ghost, once so powerful, was the next to fall, its smug grin replaced by terror as the tendrils engulfed it, pulling it into the void. The ground trembled violently as the entity rose higher, its power reaching far beyond the catacombs, far beyond Black Hollow. The veil between the living and the dead began to tear, and with it came a storm of chaos as the entity's influence seeped into the world of the living. Above, in the streets of Black Hollow, the ghosts that remained those who had survived the battle between the Pale Covenant and the Ashen Circle sensed the shift. They felt the presence of something far more terrifying than death itself. They scattered, fleeing in every direction, but it was futile. The entity's reach was endless, and soon it would consume them all. As the Ashen Circle ghost lay trapped beneath the rubble, her strength fading, she heard a voice a whisper in the back of her mind, soft but unmistakable. This is only the beginning. And in that moment, she knew that the war between the Pale Covenant and the Ashen Circle had been nothing more than a distraction, a prelude to something far more sinister. The entity they had unleashed was not bound by death or life, it was something beyond, something that sought to unmake the very fabric of existence itself. The ground above her cracked open, and through the rubble, she saw the sky no longer dark, but a swirling mass of colors and shadows, a world being rewritten by the entity's hand. Black Hollow had fallen. The ghosts who had once ruled its streets were no more, and whatever was coming next would not be stopped by gods, or relics, or anything the dead could muster. The entity was awake, and it hungered for more than just Black Hollow. It hungered for the world itself. Asterisk, asterisk, the end was coming. Asterisk, asterisk, but somewhere, deep beneath the ruins, a faint light still flickered a shard of hope, or perhaps, a shard of something even darker. The entity was not the only thing that had been awakened. 